Yo guys, welcome back to another video. So today, my five favorite add-ons that I use on most of my projects. Add-ons could be a very good addition to your workflow and tool sets. So what are the add-ons that I use? Number one is loop tools. So basically, what is loop tools? Loop tools is a like a tool set that you use when you're modeling. And my favorite three are bridge, circle, and flatten. Now, what do these do? So bridge, as you could tell, it bridges between stuff. But what is different to the Blender's built-in function, the F, is you can bridge a bunch of vertices together and you can change the rotation like that. And that is a lot more useful than if you're just filling it in by like setting one edge and then just hold like pressing F and so you or just hold it down until you fill the entire edge. So it's a lot quicker, a lot simpler, and meets less problems. Then we have Circle, and Circle does exactly what it says in its name. It makes something circle. So I use it a lot when I'm making my characters. I just select a part of the arm or leg or whatever, just press W, just loop tools, circle. And it's now become a circle, and it's like a square or some random shape. And then you have Latin, which once again, makes stuff flat. <laughs> yeah, this add-on is really good for this naming conventions. Very obvious with them. You make something flat, it can be very useful. Add-on number two is Reify. And if you've heard of this or used this before, you'll probably know that you can just make a rig and turn it into like a more complex rig once you've used it. I don't use it for that purpose. I just use it for that base rig so that I get a very good base to make a rig for. So I don't have to go like extrude the entire rig, I just get this basic one f used for me. Number three is Node Wrangler. Now, if you've watched anything on the internet recently about Blender, you probably know what Node Wrangler is. If you haven't, what is Node Wrangler? Basically, if you're doing anything with materials or compositing, so anything with nodes, I guess those are geometry nodes now. If you're doing anything with those, Node Wrangler just makes it a lot easier. Uh, I believe it is shift left click and make it preview. Uh, you can like remove stuff, uh, control T adds in a texture coordinate and a texture mapping node. And that is also very useful. So whenever I'm doing something with nodes, I do use that quite a bit. Okay, number four is kind of just a very niche thing. It's called auto mirror. And what this basically does is you just by click of a button can mirror something. Sounds pretty, um, self explanatory and yeah so you just go edit auto mirror and yeah there you go you have a mirrored mesh so I just use this quite a bit more just for fun and yeah number five on the list is uh, blender kit now this is only when I'm working with materials but it, it's I use it quite a bit when I'm like coaching people on Fiverr is just because they use materials more so if they need some like realistic materials as of uh, blender 3.0 and higher uh, you can see you have to download it uh, from their website but if you had it from before then you can just download uh, blender kit directly from the on this page yeah just. and then you can just search and it will pop up with materials or models or whatever it has made my computer crash but yeah and then you drag it onto your model, and there you go, you have a, a material ready. You don't have to go spending five hours searching the internet to find a actual uh, texture that works for you, and setting it up as well, so that's just gonna be quite a pain. And yeah, it's really helpful, especially when I'm doing coaching, because I don't wanna spend five minutes, 10 minutes just setting up a material to <laughs> get a simple render and do that for every material. So yeah, I just found that one pretty useful. And that if you do too. a quick little bonus one for anyone that is a YouTuber is uh, screen coxies or what's this known? Uh, Jnam, I think that's what I spell, say his name. But he's another YouTuber. He made his own add-on called Shortcut VUR, which is basically you probably see me use it in my videos. It basically just to show what buttons you click. So you just click Start Shortcut VUR and then you can change whether it's on the left or the right and you can change the offset, the color, like the buttons and it's just very useful because 
you don't you get those comments like oh at this specific time uh, what button did you press i don't know like those control r to add a tube <laughs> i literally said it but you were in the scene so whatever those were my five add-ons and a little bonus one for you i hope you added uh, some add-ons to your arsenal today yeah cheers happy holidays <laughs>